Also frag mich, Baby. I hope y'all doing good, cause I'm doing wonderful. Before we get started, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. You already know what to do. A title of the video, we are about to do little boy's hair. I've never done a hair video on camera ever, but it is time because why not? Why not share my juice? Oh, and also don't forget, shop in my description at littlecolorybabyllc.com and get you some products. Don't forget. Juice, say don't forget. Tell her, say don't forget. So y'all, we have had a late start. Um, well, yeah, kinda. So let me tell y'all my day. Well, let me show you his hair first, cause yeah. Okay, so this is his hair. Old. I did his hair Sunday, and y'all will see what it's gonna be like. And I'm gonna explain what I go do with his hair, stuff like that. Um, it looks very very rough, but. It's not. Okay, so the products that I'm gonna be using today, we're just gonna use detangler because when I did the coils on him the first time, I mean, obviously, you know, it's going to come out. Um, so I already kind of started a little bit. Boom, see, it's already, this lighting is horrible. Let me do it this angle. See, it's already coming out. I love this product for detangling. Little black king's hair. Can y'all see me? Can y'all see us? If you see me, you see him. If you see him, you see me. If you see me, you see him. Yeah. All right, so. But yeah, so we're using this product. And also, we are going to be using to coil his hair. Uh, what are, your, what are your products at, baby? We will not prefer. What? what is it? It's um, Talia Wow here products. Oh, here it goes. So, this, the Style and Shine, and then a Style and Curl. Um, I just have to find the style and curl. Here it is. Or soft and curl. So yeah. Those two products we'll be using to do his hair. Um, I hope y'all can see his hair good. Alright, so yeah. Um, like I said, we're just using this for detangler to freshen up his hair. Because like I said, I did his hair Sunday. <coughs> Today is Thursday. So it's just time, you know, boys. Um, they literally be laying all over the hair and stuff. Um, so they, you know, get it all jacked up. I want to teach them to wear like do rags and stuff, but uh, I guess we'll just wait on that for a while. Cause his um, his father and I have been trying to figure out if we're ready to cut his hair, cause it's getting extremely long. So, and as y'all see, this does not hurt him at all. But uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna be detangling, detangling that and tell, tell y'all about our morning. So basically this morning, we got probably like seven o'clock in the morning because we got a phone call or whatever. Well, my fiance got a phone call, not me, but yeah. So he got a phone call, so it was kind of loud. But not even just that, I always get up early, but I always be on my phone, always working on content and stuff like that, of what I need to do. Yeah. So I'm working on content that I normally like to work on so that way I don't have to do it during my work shift. And I do actually do work today, but I just haven't clocked in yet. But I really want a nice breakfast. And I also want um, to do his hair. I wasn't planning to do his hair, but it just looks too crazy. I'm like, you know what? We'll have a late start. It doesn't matter. Uh, okay, 
But anyway, so yeah, and then we ended up going back to sleep. Me and Juicy, we went back to sleep, and he was kind of whiny. That's why I don't have like a, a set bedtime or anything like that because to me, I feel like it's more, it'd be more on me because if he is going to bed at 8 o'clock at night, he's probably going to get up at like 6 or 7, and it's like, I don't want you up with me. <laughs> So I'd rather you sleep till nine because sometimes I want to just lay there. You know, I don't feel like making no milk. I don't feel like doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? Most I would do is like change a diaper, but I don't be feeling like it. So I feel like it's very beneficial for me and my family that we all go to bed at the same time, which we don't go to bed late. We go to bed probably around. Oh, sorry, baby. Uh, we probably go to bed around maybe like 10, 11 o'clock, I would say. Uh, yeah, I'll say about that would be like a normal time. Let me see there. So, yeah. But, yes, 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 yes. Um, but, yeah, that was our morning. Oh, and also, y'all, I um, did my fiance's hair like this, too. But, obviously, he has a cut in the back. So, it's a little bit more cleaner. But, since we haven't got my baby a cut yet, this is what's going to how we're gonna do it this is our new little hairstyle because i did like braid it here and there um you know where i would just put this these products on just to define his curls so i'm gonna show y'all up close in just a second i'm really just trying to make sure all of the things are out okay. mm -hmm. As <coughs> you don't want them to see your hair that nice and soft Ooh, sweet boy as y'all see <coughs> yeah no it's curls nice and soft and smooth okay wait with me sit down but yeah so sit down baby sit down here with the bottles sit down with the bottles and normally honestly when i'm doing my hair with his hair i don't normally do it in here i normally do it in the living room because he has his TV and stuff. But let me get his little laptop. So I just bought this yesterday for him. It's a little coconut laptop. Super cute. Hello. And then it has like a mouse and some learning buttons. Hey, I got your milk too, baby. Okay, so now y'all, um, cause I wash his hair probably like two. Uh, I'm gonna wash his hair. Probably yeah probably sunday yeah sunday because yeah i went to the pool so sunday so i'm not gonna wash his hair again um because i'm just not his hair is not dirty it just needs to be redone so now we're gonna go in with the products this one and this one so this is what i normally do i kind of combine them because this one is very like um more like gel as y'all see, you know what I'm saying? It's very more like gel. And then I don't have much of this one, but this one's more like a grease almost. So see the different textures. So that's what we're gonna do. But yeah. I would love to have my baby um get locks, but uh, I guess we're not gonna do it because I wanted him. To, I wanted to do it in the beginning. If y'all know, y'all been new um, that I wanted to do that, but my fiance said no. But right now he kind of seemed like he want to get locks himself because you know a lot of guys now they're getting locks here and then cut on the back. So I don't know. He's been having a lot of change of heart for a lot of stuff. <laughs> so, but yeah, y'all. So what I do, I don't make it perfect or anything. I just literally. Cause I don't like to do parts and all that kind of like that messes up the niceness. So I just literally just grab a section like this and I add some of the, um, this stuff, the style stuff. 
and just put some there just anywhere any, anywhere everywhere literally and then because this like i said this this style is not for perfection at all and then i just I'm get, off, get off my hands and then i grab a pinch pinch and i just literally with my finger just twist it And yes, the product will stay on there for a little bit. What, baby? But, but yeah, yes, the product will stay on here for just a little bit. But the great part is um, it does dry up. And it's going to be laying down for the beginning. But later on, it's going to dry up and it's going to be, be sticking up a little more. But yeah, I'm just grabbing sections and literally making sure the piece is like nice and lathered, I guess you can say. And then just let that curl pop. So I'm going to let y'all see. Well, I'm going to do a little more and then I'll let y'all see so y'all can see what I'm really doing. What, baby? Is your laptop? Is your laptop? Laptop, laptop, laptop. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the size. It's all up to you. Me, I mix it up. Yeah. Hmm? I put a lot, y'all, because I really want this. It lasts for a couple of days. Versus the braids. I feel like they last a little less. Ooh, you see a handsome boy? Ooh, such a handsome boy. That's my handsome boy. And what I say, my my teaching style, y'all, or parenting style, I'm definitely big on encouragement and stuff like that. Um, you know, whatever he's doing, I try to encourage him with whatever you know, with his looks, with. Um, Just like Ready? if he's pressing the button correctly or whatever it is, just good job, Three. good job constantly. Because because our boys need that, our kids need that, even the little girls. And I feel like this style is for girls, girls as well, definitely. You could just put some bowls to it, for sure. Super cute. And to me, like I used to do this on my hair when I used to have TW yeah. hair, not the. Well, I kind of did it when I cut my locks, actually, but not as not as thorough. Thorough. I did it with my um, a couple years ago. I used to have um, that, and I used to do this to my hair and then unravel it so my curls can really just be boom. So that's all really what it is. Um, because I like I, said, I feel like I struggle with his hair, especially when it's like high on the top and low at the back. So annoying, and the and the top just just keeps growing so much, and it's like, come on, like, what when the back gonna catch up? So, and he was a bald headed baby, actually, for a good minute. I would say more so he didn't come out with bald, with bald head. He had hair, but then he eventually lost all of it, and it slowly grew back. Um, thick and full because his hair is definitely um, thick for sure yeah this is a very fun and easy why hairstyle he's in his terrible twos stage and he's not even two uh, I'm about to show y'all in just a second Kiss my head. <laughs> oh, and then so crazy, y'all. Just like a thing, kind of like to tell y'all that kids pay attention, or sometimes 
you know, they don't see color or when they do see color, like the reaction. So yesterday, um, so on Coco Melon, if y'all kids watch Coco Melon, there is obviously the main white character, which is JJ. And then, yeah, JJ and Cody, good job. So, um, Cody is black. And so, you know, he appears on there a couple of times, whatever. It almost seems like JJ and Cody are like best friends. So I had this like Nickelodeon shirt on. And if y'all know, um, if you're not too young, no, Hey Arnold um, show back in the day, in the 90s and early 2000s, mainly 90s. Um, yeah, so they was on my shirt. And so he saw Hey Arnold's friend, which is the black guy. I forget his name. What? Okay, what? Yeah, which is the black guy. And Julian automatically said, Cody, you know what I mean? So in my head, I'm like, wow. So he think every black little boy is Cody. Well, I won't say every, but like just the fact that he identified the black guy, basically, basically him being black, because he can tell that Cody is a different color. So it just, I don't know. Like that, I feel like it can tell you a lot. It can either tell you that... Um, I don't know, because he's seeing all these white characters on the TV. You know what I'm saying? That's what he sees. And that's what I was used to seeing, too. So it's not like there's anything new for new for me to see. But it's just, I don't know, just, just the fact that he identified it. I don't know. Comment below what y'all think, what that could be, or have you experienced that with your kid or somebody else's kid or something? Or if you're a teacher. But yeah. I was so shook. I'm like, what? And I didn't tell him, like, no. You know what I'm saying? I just told him, like, those, hey, Arnold. So I want y'all to see, like, the coils. Oh, yeah, it's coming through. Like I said, product's going to be left on there, and it's going to dry and look all nice. So we'll be back once we're... Sorry for the angry baby. I'll turn his show off. Oh yeah, oh yeah, the drip, the drip, ooh. So I didn't do too much with the back. I kind of just, you know, put product back there and did a little bit of, you know, twisting just to make it curly. That's it, but what do you guys think? Bye-bye. So cheese, you like your locks? Huh? So y'all. Um, he's a happy baby now. He got his cocoa melon back. Um, but so that is pretty much it. Again, I use this brand right here and it's for children. Um, so that's what I use and I don't really use nothing else, um, to do that hairstyle. I feel like you can use anything. I feel like honestly, y'all, if you don't want to put like product on your baby's hair, you could really, um, wash their hair and just do it with your finger. You know what I'm saying? But I like that slip feel so like say if you if there was like some type of leave-in baby conditioner or something or children conditioner you can definitely do it with that i just chose to do it with this because i feel like to me it may seal it a little longer i don't know but that's just what i do but yeah and i've been in bonnet since yesterday i did my hair last night retwist it and washed it so if y'all see all the clips and I notice when I do my retwists with my hair, I um, leave my clips in and my scarf and stuff on for like a little bit a day. And I'm probably gonna do it for two days. Um, yeah, until I get off the work tomorrow. So I don't think I'm gonna take this off. To me, I feel like it holds longer because I'm not like perf perfect with retwisting my hair. So I feel like it lasts way longer. And I need this hairstyle to look good for this weekend and for next week weekend as well. Which you guys will get to see what we going, me and my fiance gonna do. So excited. Um, so yeah. Oh, and from what I used to do for my hair, I use this right here. This is like a leave-in conditioner or whatever. And then I also used to retwist it. I use um 
Um, Shine and Jam and this one, Jamaican Mango and Lime Locking Firm Wax. Yeah, that's all I use and I keep it hydrated, you know, with what you call water. And I just bought this new, actually, um, uh, well, not new, but I've always used this brand, but I bought this new looking one, I guess, new to me. It says Hydrate and Color Reviving, Lavender, whatever, Platinum. And I feel like this is good because my hair is colored, so I'm like, ooh, yeah, even better. More hydration, the better. So, um, and the shampoo, I use the same brand. It's the OGX. Um, yeah, OGX. I love it. Been using it for years. Oh my God, my face looks so bad. But yeah, I'm about to get ready, take a shower, and eat, and all this other stuff. But yeah, I just wanted to definitely show y'all that just in case if you guys were curious. So again, make sure you go like, comment, and subscribe, as well as make sure you check out our baby website um, at littlecurlybabyllc.com. And make sure you signed up, sign up for our email listing. So we have lots of little things um, coming up, just like we just recently had a giveaway because Zashim won. Um, so if you have any questions or anything like that, make sure you comment below. And y'all stay blessed. Peace.